Pardon? Hi. Nice to see you tonight. You too. So we're here to talk to you about your experience as a ballroom dancer in general, and then your experience working with uh, Imi at yep. America Dance. So can you kind of uh, start with, let's start at the beginning. Sure. How did you get started? Sure. So I went to a fundraiser, a Friday night dance party that was a fundraiser for a friend of mine. And I had never, I didn't know this world existed. This was not anything I knew about ever. I climbed up the stairs to the studio, opened the door, and there was a portal to a whole nother world. So everybody was dancing like crazy and all, I was just completely gobsmacked. All I could think was, I don't even know what this is, but I just want to be part of this. So was Emmy there? Yes. Yes, he was. And as a matter of fact, he, I was sitting with some non-dancing people, my friends, mm -hmm. and he came and he grabbed me and would not take no for an answer. And he said, come on, we're going to dance. And you know, we, I'm not, I can't even imagine what he would have done, but he sort of dragged me around the floor for a bit. And then he said, you know, come in for a lesson. And boy, I was just completely taken with it from that first moment, really. Do you remember what the first dance was? Yes. The first dance of my lesson? No, yeah, no, with, with Emmy. Do you remember what the dance was with him? Yeah, um, it was rumba. <laughs> Perfect. Which was, as Rubina said that hers was tragic, mine was more tragic <laughs> well it couldn't have been that tragic because you you able you were you got through it and he convinced you to take a lesson yes yes oh i see what you're saying um yeah no he um that night we probably danced some sort of disco maybe hustle or something right but on the lesson the first dance was one and it was pretty disastrous well everyone starts from the beginning so why would why would you be different right yeah, yeah. what is there anything in particular? So you saw that you walked in, you saw this new world that you had never seen before. But what is it that that keeps you here? Mm -hmm. What is it that drives you to continue to take lessons mm -hmm. and to 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 to, to, to but be I, I think dancing? being able to dance, and this would probably be true for, of all dance, but it's definitely true of ballroom. To be able to dance is such an incredible gift, and it's the coolest thing in the world and I just want to be part of it. It's just whether I'm good or bad, um, I just want to be part of it in my own way as best that I can. I just love it. Do you have a favorite dance? You know, it changes. Um, it depends on what's going fairly easily and what's going harder. Mm -hmm. um, I've always, I'm like Irina, I love tango. I've always loved tango. Um, I'm beginning to really like waltz and foxtrot, which I did not like to begin with. But I'm beginning to appreciate that extra time that you have in waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. I like having a little more time to articulate my movement. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier, I've learned. So how is the give and play? So you're, you're obviously being exposed to new things. How does that work with, with Imi? Well, he, you know, when he feels that I'm ready for something new, I have to say all dance teachers are great at um, immediately giving you things that you can't do and aren't good at. The minute you, you come close to mastering something, you've got 10 new tasks, you know how this goes. So you right. never, there's no, not only do you not rest on your laurels, and there's no laurels in my case, but not only do you not- Lauren's laurels. <laughs> not Lauren's laurels. <laughs> not only do you not relax yeah. into you know, self-congratulation, <laughs> You um, you immediately just have a whole slew of other things. So if the feet are right, then the upper body isn't, the dance hold isn't, the head isn't, the arms are. So it, it doesn't matter what you actually do right. There are 20, 30, 100 more things. But you have aha moments though, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I think that keeps you coming back for more, definitely. Now, the, in my case, it hasn't been... I mean, I sort of run hot and cold. I'll be on a streak where I feel like I'm just frustrating him, the poor guy. <laughs> just, you know, we get out there and yes, it's the same thing he's been telling me. So it can feel like that for a week or two. Mm. And then suddenly you push past it and um, that feels really good, really good. So I read somewhere, 
or it was a, it was an Instagram uh, reel where this woman was talking about, it, and she was actually completely different sport. It was actually weightlifting, and she said a third of the time she feels great, a third of the time she feels okay, and then a third of the time she just feels terrible, mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. it's hard. I can relate to that. Is that? Mm-hmm. Does that because that because when I when, and obviously I remembered it because I it, to me it, it it sounded just like my ballroom dance, mm-hmm. my ballroom dancing one yes, you have one yes. bad lesson and Absolutely. one great lesson and then uh... yes I like that I agree I don't I think my feeling great perhaps might be a little bit lower margin but on the other hand as I've done more as I've grown I. I actually am feeling more and more confident. I was kind of a basket case my first few years. I was really, I had no confidence with being to talk about this. And so I was fighting myself mentally and emotionally right. as part of the, <laughs> trying to learn to right. dance is hard enough without doing this mental thing. But that's, I got mired down in that. And I think I've really gotten a hold of that. So that is, a lot of things are easier now that I've done better with that. That's great. Yeah. So. What do you see for yourself in the future? I hope I just continue to learn and grow. You know, it really is a privilege to be able to do this in so mm-hmm. many different ways. And I'm cognizant of that. I appreciate it. I don't want to get injured. Uh, I don't want to go bankrupt. I want to be able to keep doing this. I just want to make you go bankrupt. But um, it just, it, I could see this being really a lifelong learning activity. That's great. So nice to talk to you about this. You too, Tim. Thank you. Okay.